Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November 21st, and I haven't had a lot of stuff going on, but what I did do is I redid my electrical system, meaning I was looking at all my lithium batteries. Let me turn the light on here. And just never really been happy with how everything was installed the first time around because a lot of it I was just trying to hurry up and get electricity running. So I spent about 10 hours rewiring everything. So let me turn you around and show you what's going on. So now I have all my charge controllers. If you can see that. So yeah, my charge controller is up behind the wall took the metal off on the outside of the barn, ran all the wires behind, ran the ground for all of them, and then they're all coming in central to the, the servo. These I left, and I do want to rerun these wires, but I added these Lynx distributors, the Lynx shot and the Lynx power in. I'm waiting on some longer cables to, uh, to hook that switch in. And then I also, over here, I added the 60 amp switches for the solar panels so I can turn them all off from inside here now, which is nice because I didn't have that before. And, uh, and it all works good. So, I'm not quite sure what's pulling all those wattages in the house. Something's running. Um, it's cloudy day today, so we're not getting much solar. So before, I'll show you a picture, but I had everything mounted here and I had about a, a million wires running. And it just looked so bad. And I wasn't happy with it. And then under here, I have all these batteries running across here. And so what I've done is I ordered one of these EG4 setups with this rack battery. And I have all this running now. So I got six 200 amp hour 24 volt batteries. So I'm running 1200 amps through here, which is about 30,000 watts. And then uh, before on these, I had 800 amp hours with about 20,000 watts. And what I was noticing is the 20,000 watts just wasn't, wasn't cutting it when... Um, you were out here for a couple days and if it wasn't sunny the uh the power i had to run the generator every time we were out here so now we've been out here since yesterday we ran everything like a champ last night did laundry did everything we wanted to do uh, i had coffee running this morning and then we had uh, a curling iron going we had several hot showers with the uh you know the water pump for the well pulls about 1500 watts when it's running all that and then we're still at 67 percent we also had two heat lamps running one for the chicken one for the pump house last night so the heat lamps were running all night too which pull about 700 watts uh together so right now this seems like a really good setup the 1200 amps i think what i want to do is get another one of these cabinets set it here and have another at least two or three more batteries in there and get get us closer to 1600 amps to 2000 amps um, and I think that is like the ideal because uh, then you can just kind of live and not really think about electricity and that's where I would like to be so um, but overall I'm happy with the new setup I think it looks so much more uh, professional I think uh, this Lynx distributor system is really nice because each one of the charge controllers is coming into this box here and each one of these has a fuse. So I have 60 amp fuse on each one of them. And um, if it goes bad, then it pops that fuse and then the others are still running. On the, uh, the multi-plus quattros, uh, they're called quattros, not multi-plus, but on the quattros, they go in here. And then um, I have 150 amp fuses on these each. And then the cables are three foot cables each. So they're both the exact same length running into this distributor. And I have those fused. And then on the ones that are not hooked up, you have to put another fuse in there just so it doesn't have red lights flashing. And so I did that. And then the shunt is running directly into the servo. And that tells me uh, 
with the power and everything in and out. You can run these batteries into the shunt. Well, not into the shunt, but into the servo, but then you can't use the shunt. So it's either one or the other. And I wanted to use the shunt because it tells me what these guys are doing. Um, and I can show you on my phone. Um, I'll pop it up there, but it'll show you exactly how much the, uh, the panels are producing, how much power is coming out. So you know exactly what's going on on here through the servo. So you can see, and then on the phone, you can actually click on this and it'll show you, uh, it'll pop up and it'll show you exactly how much each panel is doing like it is here. So it's showing you 153, 147. So you know exactly what the panels are putting out total, how many amps and all that, which is nice. So overall, I think it's a good setup. Uh, it's cleaner, it's safer. Uh, before I just had an open bus bar which was, yeah, let's see, I don't know what I did with that. Yeah, there it is. Before I had everything running into this big bus bar, which is heavy duty, but everything was open. And so, uh, if somebody didn't know what to touch or not to touch, they could probably shock themselves pretty good. So now everything is concealed and hidden and uh, I feel really happy with it. Uh, on the back wall where I, ran the wires where they're all running through the wall i left the insulation out in that part so that the wires can breathe um, the tin is corrugated so air does get up in there so air can come and go so those should be fine um, and then um, yeah that's it so anyway just giving a small update on my power system pretty happy with it so far these eg4s are actually less expensive than any other battery you can find but they seem to work really well. I didn't get the ones that had the power display screen because they cost more. And honestly, you don't really need it because here it shows you what your state of charge is. Um, so everything is, we're at about 75% right now, 70%. So you, all you need to know then through the servo, I know exactly where the batteries are at. So I don't really need to spend extra money on the screen is the way I looked at it. I like these that you can actually turn off the batteries each one has its own battery management system, which is nice. So I do like the way it's set up. Um, it's just easier, cleaner. And uh, I'm actually going to be selling all these batteries. I have 16 of them right now on Battleborn's website. They're going for about $950 each. And I was thinking about listing them for $650, $700 each. $700 includes shipping. So um, if you're interested in that, I'm going to be listing those shortly. You can uh, uh, DM me if you're if you're really interested. Um, they're only two years old. They have a warranty for I think ten years, so there's a lot of life left in these things. Um, I didn't have any problems with them at all. Um, I just wanted a cleaner setup, and I wanted uh, something like this. The other thing I like about this too is with this cabinet, these batteries can actually stay a little bit warmer in the uh, in the winter time when it gets cold in here. The other thing I've added is I've added these Wi-Fi switches right here. And uh, if I can see that the weather's gonna be really, really cold, I can remotely turn this on through my phone. And I just have a little radiator heater that uh, will be distributing heat. So this is actually on right now. Um, so I can turn that on and it will keep the room warm. So that's nice too. So, um, but that's about it. All right. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.